grace, mercy, and God's peace as we gather for this week's Sunday. We invite you to worship with us and welcome you here. Whatever your ethnicity, you are welcome. No matter your marital status or personal identification, you are welcome. Whether you are old or young, have much or have little, you are welcome to worship with us here. No matter your political affiliation, you are welcome. Whether you are whole or hurt, know that we are all welcome because Christ welcomed us first. So let us worship God together in spirit and truth. Amen. Please join me in the opening sentences. Jesus said to the disciples, The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Let us rejoice together that there is one who comes alongside to enable our worship, walk the path of discipleship, and remind us of God's love and peace. Your ways may be known on earth, 
your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him.
Jesus is alive, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away, and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. Now, let us greet each other as we offer one another a sign of Christ's love and peace, and we welcome each other. Kids are studying for exams, and even the teachers are ready for time. With everyone focused on common sports, senior parties, or summer vacation plans, it is hard to focus and really try to remember what we learned. Our teachers hope that we remember most of what they taught us, even while we were out of the classroom. Can you remember all the things that your high school teachers taught you? How many times have you had to solve a quadratic equation or recite a poem in Spanish? Sure, there are many good lessons we learn in school. But what do we remember? You might remember some of the things that our favorite teachers taught. Those teachers that we really know. Which of those lessons do we use each day? In our scripture lesson today, Jesus tells us, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. What is the lesson that Jesus taught? I hope you remember that he told us that the greatest commandment was to love. If we love him and practice his love, then the reward is better than a massive grave. He says that the Father will come to us and make a home with us. Sharing our home together is deeply personal. This is not a whole mansion in the sky. Jesus is offering us a home filled with love with his Father if we love him. This lesson of love that Jesus taught is one that we all need to not just remember, but one that we must use every day. Loving others is not something that we do for bonus points on a test. It is a whole thing. Jesus tells us that we don't obey his teaching, and we do not love him, and that was the biggest lesson that he taught. Here is the good news for those who are testing anxiety. We do not have to remember this lesson on our own. We can call upon the Holy Spirit for the answers. We are given an advocate who will remind us of all that Jesus taught if we only listen. Jesus then went on to tell us to have peace and to not be troubled because he was going back to be with his father. He told us to be glad. Our Old Testament scripture today reminds us to praise God and sing for joy. If we read more in Psalms, chapter 134, verse 2, that tells us that we should lift up our hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. Chapter 119, verse 48 says, I will lift my hands toward your commandments, which I love. And that is what we should do. The commandment is to love. The teaching is to love. The answer is to love. And what do we do in school when we know the answer to something? We raise our hands. So here is your final example. Will you be able to raise your hand and have the right answer? The question is the same question that Jesus asked you three times on the shore of Galilee. Do you love me? And our answer is really the same. Obey my teaching, feed my sheep, love your name. Do you love me? Are you ready to raise your hand? Let us stand and sing.
all the people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, for this community, the nation, and the world, for victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, sickness, or any kind of trouble, for the peace in times of war or peace in our own hearts, for the special needs and concerns of this congregation. We lift up Jeff and Sue Ritter, who are grieving the loss of Jeff's father, George, and those recovering from surgery or sickness, Larry Jones, Jim Cox, Carol Brown, Jim Myers, Georgina Davidson, and Gloria Sevens. Lord, hear these prayers and those in our hearts as we pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the earth. Amen. And now, give our every good and perfect gift. Teach us to render to you all that we have and all that we are that we may praise you, not with our lips only, but with our whole lives, turning the duties, the sorrows, and the joys of all our days into a living sacrifice to you, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.